Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, keeping an eye on the visibility overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning. Some fog, though not as widespread or as thick as what we had earlier this morning. Now, a few hours ago, the visibility around 10 miles in most locations, now dropping off slightly. I mean, Willimantic has dropped off to, well, it's Worcester's dropped off to 10. Uh, Willimantic at 5, and the visibility in Providence, I mean, it's still pretty good at 7, but it has come down a little bit. So kind of a tip off of some uh, patches of fog overnight, early tomorrow morning. High temps, as expected, very mild, including 61 today in Providence. Many areas in the upper 50s to lower 60s and it looks like similar temperatures coming up uh, for tomorrow as well before we see a cool down on Sunday. Threat tracker now through the weekend. Uh, low level green. Nothing really significant stormy or high impact on the way as far as big precipitation or widespread uh, you know, heavy winds and things like that. Providence varying skies and partly to mostly uh, clear right now. Temperature at 50 and a light west-southwest breeze at 5. Humidity is high. Most areas now have humidity is anywhere from 85 to 95 percent. So again, a little fog overnight. Seacock now checking in at 49. You can see that very high humidity. So that's a tip off of some low clouds and fog later on this evening. Temperatures in most areas now in the upper 40s to around 50. Dennis and Susan and Cranston reporting 48 now, 50 in Providence and uh, low 50s along the, the uh, south shore. So it's well above freezing. In fact, I don't see temperatures falling below freezing for perhaps the next seven days. To give, you, give you an idea of the kind of pattern that we're in. Uh, patchy clouds overhead right now, but no precipitation. So here's how it breaks down on future cast starting off this evening. Temps in the upper 40s to low 50s. And then overnight, little stretches of gray showing up, indicating some low clouds and patchy fog. This is around 5 six o'clock in the morning. Watch how rapidly it burns off, unlike this morning where it took quite a while. So by nine o'clock in the morning, sunshine is already in the mid fifties. Plenty of sunshine in the afternoon by two o'clock, much like today, upper fifties to low sixties. So pretty comfortable around 430 around sunset. Clouds are starting to increase mid fifties, becoming mainly cloudy overnight. Tomorrow night temperatures once again, well above freezing in the forties. Another mild night coming up on Saturday night. Any early morning fog patchy and burning off rapidly to sunshine 11 a.m. 57 and then during the afternoon hours, upper 50s to around 60, a gorgeous day. Make the most of it. That, that's not to say Sunday's a bad day, but there are noticeable changes on Sunday. I'm feeling more, I guess, pessimistic about Sunday's forecast. Not that it's going to be a stormy day, but this front right in here, what we call the backdoor cold front, will be coming through. Which side of the boundary you're on determines whether or not you have cool air or mild air. This cooler air coming in off the ocean on a northeast breeze um, may knock the temperatures down and add some extra clouds to Sunday. So it is cooler with uh, extra clouds on Sunday, and as a result, temperatures probably mid 50s rather than low 60s like Saturday, and also not as bright. But I mean, if you have to be outdoors, it's not too too bad. Storm system on Monday. Uh, first of all, windy and warm up to 60. I anticipate just like light showers and drizzle during the day. The heavier rain and wind and even some thunder will be reserved for Monday evening and Monday night. It dries out uh, on Tuesday. A nice day, though windy at 55, and then temperatures next week still above average a little cooler with afternoon highs in the mid 50s and nights in the upper 30s to low 40s. I would say Saturday is the pick day. That's not to say Sunday's like real bad, just not as bright or as mild as Saturday afternoon, but overall decent weekend. It works out for the people who maybe haven't put their Christmas lights on outside yet. <coughs> Uh, you know, so you're not sitting out in the cold doing it. I did mine two days ago. Oh, did you? Yeah, well, good. I'm I don't feel so bad about it anymore. <laughs> I keep saying, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do there it. You go. <laughs> All right, Tony, thanks. Coming up next on